I wrote a book. Wait a minute. What do you mean you wrote a book? You can write? Yeah, these guys are soft. They need to learn how to be a man. This is an actual book? Yeah, it's called Be a Man, the Ultimate Guide. You can pre-order it right now on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. Wow. I can't wait to become a man. Be a man. <laughs> <laughs> be a man. Experience! Are you with me? Be a man? Yeah. <laughs> you ready to preach? Preacher? Yep. What do you do if some guy falls into the gorilla cage at the zoo? Film it and watch him die. What would you do if a kangaroo picked a fight with you? Break your hands on its head. <laughs> it's not a world of men. I want you to be a man. You could just be a man in this one moment. I gotta be a man. Be a man. It's be a man time. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Am I supposed to be a man? Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. You can act like a man. Be a man. Say if you were Noah, what animals would you bring with you? How big would the boat have to be? Well, I love I love fucking beef. Bring a couple of cows. About yeah, I like pork. Shit you can eat, right? You know, chicken makes eggs, right? You have some horses to get around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a couple of horses. They have to have a fucking a purpose. You yeah. can't just do it for fun. Say, uh, hippo, yeah, what's he going to do for you? Some, some, some oxen. An oxen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Yeah. Ox. yeah, a beast of burden. <laughs> <laughs> You plow the fucking field with an oxen. Yeah. I mean, really, when you really think about it, it's so fucking preposterous. Some guy's going to round up two of each animal and put them on a, what, he walk down a fucking ramp onto the boat? Made a nice movie. <laughs> it's a nice movie. So some guy with a fucking stick, that's all he's got, he gets two of each. I mean, it's impossible. Yeah, I mean, the whole religion thing is, uh, you know, it's a big business, but so, that's, that's a discussion for another day. Right, so saying you got them on the fucking boat, right, whatever it is, an ark... And then they're in the fucking pit down below. Then what? <laughs> they're all fucking standing there going on a sea voyage. How do you feed them? Fucking you- elephants, hippos, two of this. Get the fuck out of here. Any of them mate? <laughs> Did any of them mate and they had little cubs and whatever? I mean, you can't put people on a fucking boat without going nuts. If you were responsible for, you know, saving the animals from extinction, would you fucking seriously go around and gather two of everything? Or would you just be like, all right, these other animals are fucking dangerous. They, they'll they take my fucking head off. This, here's a saber-toothed tiger. Let's throw him on the fucking boat. Yeah. No, let's just let him fucking die. In yeah. fucking- <laughs> <laughs> Dumb story they made up to try to corral us into religion back then come on yeah it's so on the on the face of it fucking preposterous impossible the guy probably took two chickens and a fucking pig and exaggerated it right i mean seriously if he even went the fucking elephant you stand in the back you two elephants you stand next to the fucking hippo next to two fucking wolves okay he traveled worldwide to get two of every animal (laughs) yeah what a shitty tour oh (laughs) How'd you like to work on that boat as a fucking crew hand? Huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, was, seriously. It just, was it just him and his wife or what? Eh, fucking jerk. For some strange reason, he decided to take all the dangerous animals that would cause humans suffering and put them at the fucking lower notches on the food chain just because he was a weird animal guy. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. I, I personally can see his point being an animal lover. I, I love animals. I hate people. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> same way. I'm yeah. not a big fan of animals. I know you. Yeah. I don't really like animals. I feel. What do you got? You got any pets up there? I do, and I don't like them. What you, you got? Your little dog. <laughs> three, get this: three cats, two dogs. Yeah. Oh, the Jesus. hatred is mutual on both sides. <laughs> they see me, they recoil. Yeah, I see yeah. them. I give them a quick little fucking kick. No. By accident, yeah. you know, my yeah. shoe move. <laughs> I, I didn't kick them. I wouldn't kick an animal, but my, I kind of I shoo them away. Yeah. You know, my, my old man displaced anger. He, he took one of my cats for no re- well, cat when we were growing up for no reason. Walked on the front st- front steps and punted it. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, just because he just because no. he was an angry postal worker. Well, you know, it's funny. <laughs> our fathers have that in common. Later in life, my father's old friend he said to me, "Your father was the best cat killer in the West End." <laughs> I go, "What are you talking about?" To get this, they used to put cats in a burlap fucking bag, tie the oh, bag, yeah. and heave them off buildings. Yeah. I, go, <laughs> I go, "I don't like cats," but tell me you didn't do that. He goes, "Ah, eh, we had a lot of fun." <laughs> I go, "Wow, that's kind of fucked up." No, yeah, yeah you got to think. This, these are the days. Before before a PETA and fucking, you know, splashing red paint on fur coats yeah. and all that shit. You know, you could fucking oh, get yeah. away with punting a fucking gat down the street. I would I would never abuse an animal. No. Me neither. I mean, Only ro- a rodent. I would. Oh, yeah. 
Some mice, old, I'd kill them. Of oh, rats, fuck yeah. Kill them in a second. My old man, they said in the tenements, they it was infested with rats. They used to grab them by the tail and fucking biff them off the wall. And kill them. <laughs> I used to go <laughs> play <laughs> savages. <laughs> this, uh, this broad I was going out with, right? She woke up screaming. It was like a mouse, like running against the, the door or something. So I, I I got my hockey stick and I I took it I wrist shot off the wall boom <laughs> splat nice so then I, I I had that that hockey stick up there all the time and I was getting them because they were, they were flushing them out the exterminators came and then when they were flushing them out they come out late at night and I sit there and when I saw one a slap shot off the wall with it kill it instantly oh yeah sometimes <laughs> it's like falling us back and it'd be yeah. the legs would be moving a hundred miles an hour then all of a sudden it'd die. <laughs> <laughs> you watched them fucking suffer yeah. and die why not. <laughs> Well, that's what it's basically like when you uh, when you use the glue traps. Oh, I, I like that. I, I recently got infested, and I'll I'll be honest with you, it's, there's something satisfying watching the thing. You've seen the thing run around the house a yeah. thousand fucking times, and then it's caught in a fucking trap. It's got nowhere to go. It's faces it's sideways on it, looking faces at you. Faces sideways, <laughs> fucking staring at you, giving you those fucking Sarah McLaughlin yeah. eyes. Oh. And it takes two Just, or three days. You walk by and go, having a good fucking time in the glue <laughs> trap. <laughs> Take See you tonight. <laughs> Fling it like a shingle into the ocean. I had a woodchuck and a glue, glue trap. It was in the garage. Oh, oh, oh it was a big I felt a little bit bad. I tried to free it with a stick. I did more fucking damage. This whole belly and undercarriage was stuck to the oh. glue trap. So I grabbed the fucking twig and tried to go in there and wedge him off. It went through his fucking stomach. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I threw the whole fucking rig well, in I the think, woods. I think you get them off if you, you spray like uh, that's that Pam stuff on it. Really? That's, I, I wow. think so, yeah. That's a great life hack, be a man. Yeah, I didn't, I, say, I didn't say I did it. <laughs> you know something? A rodent has fucking disease. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. If a rodent comes into my fucking territory, I'm not looking to remove the rodent safely from the house. I want it fucking dead. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I do. That's a good thing about cats. <laughs> there is other animals that can kill uh, rodents. Like, I went to this crazy fucking New Year's Eve party one year, and this guy had a huge tank and had three baby gators in it. Oh, wow. And when we showed up, he's like, I haven't fed these things in fucking 30 days. They're going to go crazy. And so, like, when the clock struck midnight, he dumped, like, a full bucket of mice into this tank. And they're all swimming, and the fucking gators were just snapping them oh, up. Just oh, snapping. It was, it was crazy. It was like watching, like, fucking, you know, wildlife shows right in front of you. They were just, like, snapping their necks and fucking flinging them in the air and doing the roll underwater. It was something. They swallow them whole, too, don't they? Oh, yeah. How the fuck can you enjoy a meal? You swallow a fucking mouse in one gulp? I, like a fucking pez. <laughs> they say they say if you uh, if you throw a marshmallow to a alligator, it's like them having crack. They love it. It's illegal in Florida. Really? really? Some guy threw a marshmallow and got his fucking head ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> I saw some guy the other day on, on the computer. Right? He dove into the fucking pond. A little baby gator had his dog in his mouth. Uh, it's it's on it. You can see it. Like yesterday, I saw this. He pried the fucking dog out of the, the dog. Ran away. He threw the fucking gator and he had a cigar in his mouth the whole time. An old timer. <laughs> really? Yeah, I wouldn't fuck around. I'd say I like the dog, but I'll see you later. Wrestling alligator to save your dog, be a man. <laughs> uh, I I wouldn't. I would let Rusty get fucking yeah. undertowed into the fucking swamp below. <laughs> That's a prehistoric creature. I ain't fucking around. Yeah. yeah you can't reason with a fucking alligator. Yeah, it's basically a fucking dinosaur. It is I'm, a dinosaur. Right? I'm all set with fucking wrestling dinosaurs. Right. Get rid of them. Yeah. <laughs> I think they should put poison in all over the fucking Everglades and get rid of all that shit. Swim with alligators, be a man. You I know, go, I go up to York Zoo like once. You yeah, know what? Oh, that's you like that. I've been up there. I, don't, I get free passes, so <sighs> if I had to pay, I wouldn't do it. The only time I like zoos is, of course, when you see the monkeys fling the poop. <laughs> it's the it's the best part, right? It's that's that's when you're getting your fucking movie tickets worth. You know, you're like, right. That's the star attraction. That's what you want to see at the zoo. If they don't do that, it's a sucky visit to the zoo. Yeah. <laughs> I used to go to the Stone Zoo when I was a kid. My mother goes, what do you want to go there for? Fucking animals are half dead. <laughs> you go buy four fucking cages. They're empty. Those, yeah. they're, they're dead and gone. Yeah, right. Then you see one, there is an animal. He's laying under a fucking rock in a tree. You can see like a fucking section of him. Yeah, he's, right, de right. he's depressed. Yeah. You go to the next thing. There's nothing more grim than an empty fucking zoo cage. <laughs> grim. <laughs> it's true, man. It smells. Say, what, what, what happened to fucking Bobo? Oh. 
<laughs> After 30 years in captivity, he slit his own fucking throat. He's out of here. <laughs> but there's, there's nothing quite like seeing, like, you know, the eight-year-old kid at the zoo with his face pressed up against the, the, the glass. And then the monkey starts licking his grundle and then starts <laughs> flinging poop pinpoint directly at his face. And he can, you can see the disappointment. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Like, I've seen, seen monkeys jerking off and shit. Oh, yeah. They love doing it. The gorillas, too. Yeah. They fucking pound off. Yeah. <laughs> you got to give it up for that. They're not inhibited. They're disinhibited. Yeah. And that's <laughs> that's how they call them animals. If you can shit and jerk off in front of people without being troubled, yeah, right. yeah. you're free, man. <laughs> yeah. You can, you can, seriously, as a gorilla, you can fucking bang off. You can fling your jizz at people. You can take a huge shit in your hand and fucking knock somebody's head off with it. That chain goo doll must have taught the fucking gorillas that. <laughs> she got she get ripped apart at the end. Is that what happened? I, 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 I like think those stories, you. When you hear that. She I got love killed, it. She got killed at the end. I think she, did did they she show get that? killed. They show that in the movie? I'm not sure. No. Jesus Christ. A guy that trained the grizzly bears, he was living with them, they chewed him up. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Timmy yeah. Treadwell. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't feel bad. How about the guy with the wolves? He was like, he was in the pack. Maybe you see, you oh, see yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, he, he, was was like, he was like biting him. He <laughs> tried to assert <laughs> dominance. What happened to him? I, I think he's okay, but I know bear people don't make out too good. Oh yeah, no, I mean, no, like, no. just just imagine that, like, especially like in the case of that grizzly man guy, that like he dedicated thirty years of his life to going to these remote locations <laughs> and like going out of his way to befriend these fucking savage animals. And fucking, he thinks that going there during fucking you know mating season or whatever is just like popping in on an old friend. And then he goes in and he gets his fucking face ripped off <laughs> and his fucking junk fucking mutilated. Oh, man. It's there's something like I love it. It's like you can't have a happy ending in that situation. You're flirting with disaster. Yeah. <laughs> it's like those guys that have a big pet snake and it strangles them to death. Yeah. <laughs> like, I couldn't see that coming. Like you, they, you see them walking around, the fucking thing's on their shoulder and wrapped around their fucking neck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next thing you read in the news, they go, yeah, the fucking thing strangled them. Good. Yeah. Well, having an animal like that, it's just like having a gun, you know, in in the house. You're 25% more fucking liable to fucking die of a gun-related injury when there's a gun in your house. Right, right. Same fucking thing as having one of those fucking wild card animals. How about those two fucking kids? They live above the pet store a few years back. For real, the yeah. snake escaped down below, <laughs> crawled up through the fucking right. wall, in the ceiling, strangled the two of them in bed as they slept. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Uh, Remember that? Yeah, yes. Hey, man. Yeah. I mean, that sucks. <laughs> There's something about that. I so, love hearing those fucking stories. Now the guy, the grizzly guy you were talking about, is that the one they they killed a bear and they ripped open his stomach and they saw like the guy's hands and stuff and they, uh, that's yeah, how they identif- yeah. that's how they identified him, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> By fucking undigested sections of yeah. a fucking shit journalist. Well, wasn't there somebody who got attacked and killed because he was OTR? They want blood, man. They yeah. they love the taste and smell of blood. That's oh, yeah. what they want. Savages. I've I've been in the woods with fucking and heard bear sounds that were like sounded pretty fucking close, and I I definitely fucking popped a couple of fucking nuggets. I shot myself okay. twice on that fucking hike. There was snakes, <laughs> and then there was a fucking there was a wild turkey that comes running down the hill. I don't know if you've seen these things, but they are mean motherfuckers, and some of them are pretty fucking no, there's, diesel. There's flocks of like twenty five oh, or fifty yeah. of them where I live. I think we've grown to realize how much turkeys suck over the last 10, 20 years since there's a shitload of them walking the streets nowadays. Oh, yeah. I see some places there's more fucking turkeys walking around than people, like in New Hampshire. It's oh, yeah. It, they're all over the fucking place, and they suck. They and they walk dispositions. They walk around like they own the fucking town, too. Yeah. Like they have fucking oh. hot soup. Oh, like, yeah. They hold traffic I'm up. I'm fucking and, yeah. driving the fucking flock of turkeys. Take your fucking time, turkeys. Yeah. If there was nobody around, they'd I'd fucking be, deck I'd be, it I'd and run over. I, 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 I gun and beep the horn, and they take they fly. I mean, yeah, they yeah. don't fly great, but they can fly. Yeah, they're flying's on the radar. They don't want to use it. My condo that I used to have up in uh, Jackson, New Hampshire, there was all kinds of beer running around and back. I look out front, and this fucking mean motherfucking looking beer, about four or five feet high, like walking away, but had its head fixated at me. He's looking at me, and it was like a picture window. I grabbed a bat, went outside, that, you know, because I, I clicked the light on because I heard a noise. So let me ask you this, BM man. You had the bat? Were you prepared to get in a fucking mono a mono with the bear? If you I didn't be? have a gun with me at the time, so I mean, if the thing came smashing through the window, I wasn't going to stand there and let him eat me. How do you think the fight would have panned out if it was I'd you with the bat? First, first, well, I'd have to try to whack him in the head like as high as I could. I mean, I don't know if that would have worked or not. 
You go for the headshot, or do you go for like one of the paws of the legs, like a Nancy Kerrigan? I go, I go for the head. Try to fucking take him out with the a good shot, they, like in the snout, yeah. maybe in the snout. It's gonna have to be a good hit yeah. because if he recovers, um, yeah, it's all you're over. fucked. <laughs> yeah. then, then from there, when he has me down and he's he's killing me, I try to get the bat and stick it up his ass or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta hold the bat, and when it tries to eat you, you stick it in between the fucking jowls. <laughs> right? Yeah, then it fucking was probably ripped my face off. You know what's a tough motherfucker and built and shredded? Kangaroos. Ever seen them box? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought it was a guy in a fucking suit. I thought it was phony. I couldn't even believe it. <laughs> the fucking guy's biceps, the kangaroo, were fucking shredded, right? Oh, yeah. Then it was boxing the fucking guy's ears in. I go, this gotta be fake. It was real. Oh, uh, dude. I've, I've seen several. What's up? Google fucking kangaroo fights. You won't be fucking disappointed. Oh, no. Yeah, no it's, it, I, I've seen ones that have gone on for eight minutes. Just two of them in a fucking neighborhood. Just slugging it out, just right? You see, it out. <laughs> you see the forearms? That's what they're I'm saying. Ripped. Yeah, they're ripped, man. They're fucking ripped. They're on fucking steroids. Yeah. It seems impossible. I said, look at the fucking built on this kangaroo. <laughs> Have the, you ever seen the uh, the video where the guy punches the kangaroo that's going after the, yeah. going after his dog? Yeah. yeah. What the, happened? The look of utter fucking confusion. Like the kangaroo was going for this guy's he dog. The dog. And the dog, and the guy goes over to save him. Scares the fucking, uh, you know, the dog ends up scattering away. It's just the dude in the fucking kangaroo, and the dude squares up with the kangaroo and fucking reaches in and pops him with a fucking right hook. Staggered him and fucking staggered him. Yeah. And the look on this kangaroo's yeah. face is like, what the fuck yeah, just yeah. happened? That was such a great video. <laughs> he can give it, but he can't fucking take uh, it. Yeah. Imagine then, if he got hit by fucking be a man, he'll go hopping, <laughs> in, hopping into the fucking prairie. That's another kind of weird pet some weird dudes have. I ever see a guy with a pet raccoon? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a chipmunk. Yeah, on their it's, shoulder it's, or yeah, something. They have the fucking pet raccoon pet like it's a fucking it's parrot. shitting all over them. Yeah. It's, yeah, a, yeah, you know, uh, it's a giant sewer rat that's dressed up like a fucking train robber. Don't <laughs> fucking dr- don't trust it and fucking keep it in your fucking house. Those things are wild invalids. You ever, you ever run over a fucking skunk? Oh, I've yeah. never won, run one over. I, no. I, uh, I, I did. On a fucking island, I saw a family of fucking coyotes last night. Five of them. Oh, yeah. Well, they're, they're, um, that's a pack, man. They're ready to fucking... <clears throat> They're very surround something and rip it apart. That's a mangy fucking outfit yeah. right there. Oh, Those yeah. fucking coyotes. And it was during the day, too. And I'm like, oh, these motherfuckers aren't playing. Like, really? What, like, what the fuck are those things doing? Are they just vacationing on the island? Ooh, looking for rats. Yeah, yeah. You see them Water on the rats. horizon, like a pack of them. They're bad news. Yeah, they're, oh, yeah. The you fucking know, music you know, plays and everything. They get that walk. Gnarly looking yeah. little motherfuckers. Coming. They'll, they'll, run, they'll run a million miles an hour. And when they're running away, their, their head will be backwards looking at you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're not trustworthy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the sneaks. They're treacherous and sneaky. Yeah, yeah, they're bad. They'll yeah. eat your pet too. They eat the pets. Oh yeah, dogs, dogs, cats. Yeah. dogs. Yeah, they showed a bald eagle on the internet yesterday. Swooped down, picked up a fucking dog, uh, went to take <laughs> off. It dropped the fucking dog. The dog escaped. I'm not sure if it was a eagle. It was in Virginia, but we're going down like one of those mountain highway uh, passes, and we're up pretty high, and we're just driving down the fucking street. And I see this fucking, like, 40-pound fish fall out of the middle of the sky and splatter in the fucking highway in front of us. And we had to swerve fucking over the thing. And I was like, what the fuck was that? And I looked up, and I saw the bird. Yeah. So so the thing fucking had a huge fucking fish and just fucking, oop, I, <laughs> dropped yeah, it right in the this, middle of the I highway. I guess there's an eagle up where I live somewhere. I haven't seen it. I, I don't know if I've ever actually seen an eagle in person, but they, they've made a comeback. Ah, oh yeah. Remember there was like 40 yeah. of them in yeah, the world yeah, yeah. or something? Yeah, and they fixed them yeah, up. Something, and all of a sudden, it's like they're everywhere. Shit a lot of them. Yeah. They'll fucking swoop down at 800 miles an hour and fucking yeah. grab something. <laughs> uh, yeah, how about hawks? <laughs> them too. T- the red-tailed hawks where I live, you see them fucking... Flying away with like a squirrel holding a squirrel or something small. <laughs> Their fucking eyeballs yeah, are the yeah. size of a grain of rice, yet they can see fucking 100 miles yeah. down. <laughs> how, how does this work? I don't Bion- get it. Bionic eyeballs. Right? Yeah. <laughs> how about the ones that see the fish under the water? They're flying above it, yeah. yet they can spot a fish below like, water. They fucking dive yeah, like into a, the water, grab a fish, and take off. A yeah, seagull. Like a, like oh, a, yeah. Yeah. Seagull, comorans, or whatever they're called. I don't understand. Yeah. They're this. just looking at like a body of water with those like Terminator eyes, like scanning the fucking, <laughs> <laughs> scanning the fish under the water. How about having a big pig in your fucking house? It's, it's crazy. <laughs> I dated abroad for four years that had a pig, and that thing was a fucking nuisance. Dirty. It, well, mm. it was filthy. It wasn't like a cute little pot belly pink pig. It was like a wild boar with oh, fucking tusks. Yeah. 
And I'd wake up in the morning and the thing had problems. It was old as fuck. And I'd wake up in the morning. There'd be probably like a gallon and a half of piss on the floor. Oh. And then there'd be between 80 and 150 poop pellet nuggets scattered within the lake of piss. And I'd have to like step around it every morning leaving the house. Yet she insisted on having it as a pet. Oh yeah, it's, you know it was. You had to hold on to the pig until the fucking dying days. It's funny <laughs> the pig is the one that they give human beings part of the fucking pig heart now. Yeah, right. That's right. Of all the animals, yeah. it's the fucking pig. See, you would instantly think it would be like a like a monkey or right. a gorilla or something. It's a fucking not just a pork chop anymore. Now it's a fucking heart valve replacement. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> you know. How about the uh, these fucking maniacs that are wildlife photographers that just go to the most dangerous places in the middle of the fucking Yucatan and the fucking jungle, and they're fucking there to photograph the most dangerous animals in the world? They should have learned how to play sports when they were younger. <laughs> I don't even like to take pictures, let alone going on a fucking airplane, then going into the jungle and staying there for fucking 13 nights in a row yeah. to try to get a glimpse of some stupid fucking animal. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's not for me. You go to York Zoo at all? You ever been up there? I've been there. I'm not a zoo fan. Yeah. I hate it. I went twice with my kids. Just fucking like couldn't it. stand it. Yeah. I went to the San Diego Zoo, the mighty famous San Diego Ooh, Zoo many years ago. That's supposed to be the best, right? the fucking greatest zoo in the world. San Diego Zoo. I went there within 10 minutes. Not just me, thank God. My whole family wanted to leave. Really? We all agreed, go, this sucks. We're well, not animal people. What about the one that's in Rhode Island? Isn't the one in Rhode Island supposed to be the best or New England? I guess. I, I'm not sure what, what that one is, but... I mean, is it sad that I don't like to see fucking animals? No, it's not yeah. your thing, that's all. <laughs> you go there, you see them in the fucking camp. Poor things in captivity. That sucks when you think about it, right? Oh, yeah. Like, have you ever seen, uh, have you ever been to one of those drive through safaris? Uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Uh, I have. Uh, We're over in Africa? No, it was, <laughs> it was in New Jersey, actually. It was a part of uh, Six Flags. Really? And I went there, and I was in my buddy's Geo Storm high fucking octane vehicle and fucking there was rams out there and one of them <laughs> one of them fucking he had white zombie plan he was cranking the fucking music and fucking a ram ran right into the fucking passenger side door where Jesus. i was sitting and fucking dented the whole fucking thing i was like that thing almost fucking flipped the car over wow. <laughs> i know how do these fucking animals know to grow fucking horns to protect themselves yeah <laughs> you know what I mean? How did all this shit evolve? A fucking porcupine fi fires fucking arrows at you, right? Yeah. A skunk fi uh, yeah. pisses out a fucking stink bomb. How did this shit happen? Who did yeah. this? You get the you get the squids to have an oil slick, right? Right. Or something. Oh yeah, yeah. The defensive animal. <laughs> That's right. They have a defensive moves. Yeah. <laughs> you afraid of bats, be a man? No. No. I killed a bat. I tell you that I, before. I killed bats. Yeah. yeah. I manned up. The first time I shit my pants, the bat was in the house. Yeah. I fucking yelped and went under the bed like a fucking chick. Second time, there was another fucking attack with the bats. I went, fuck this. I looked it up. They fly in a figure eight. They do. They fly in a figure oh, yeah. eight. I positioned myself with a fucking tennis racket. That's what they We yeah. fucking met. They, he flew into me as I was fucking going forward. KO dead. It's a mouse, nice. mouse with, out. Basically a mouse with wings. Mouse with fucking wings. I looked it up. and went, suppose you're not supposed to kill bats. I go, fuck Why? you. I looked it up. The bat could live to be 40 years old. I thought they lived like three years. <laughs> so I don't know if that bat was two or 38 years old. <laughs> I said, I might have killed a fucking 38-year-old bat. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm that's sorry. That's a good like, idea with the tennis racket. Oh, no. That, it fucking yeah. you KO yeah. Getting that fucker. You see them, the, the figure eight. They'll come right at you. That's like walking into a fucking right hand. Wow. Out, dead, gone. But well, I mean, I'm sorry, but like the animals coming in the house, it should be the same thing if as if a person comes in the house. <laughs> if an intruder comes in your house, you have the right to fucking right. snap its neck and kill it. Why not? Yeah. You know? Because they let the fucking bat go on the covers before up there. Shit to go for rabies shots. People go, you shouldn't kill the bat. I go, what? To go for fucking six rabies shots? Yeah, no for seven hundred bucks. <laughs> fuck you! I'm killing the bat. <laughs> then they go like this. Can you send it in? We'll check it for rabies. I go, fuck yourself. I yeah. threw it away. Yeah, <laughs> it's in a fucking. It's in a trash bag in the dumpster, buddy. Go digging. I went to take a shit one morning at my house, and um, it was a fucking like a little baby snake, like no bigger oh, than a worm. Oh, in the toilet? No, it was just on the floor. <laughs> oh. I just left them alone. Yeah. Well, my buddies wouldn't come over. You don't like no <laughs> fucking, fucking mortified. Dude, I wouldn't. I mean, I'm the same. It, a snake's a snake. I don't give a fuck. I've never picked up a fucking, you know, a little garter snake or fucking anything like that. I've never touched a snake. Yeah. I never intend on touching a snake. 
I don't mind them little ones. We handle them. Don't bother. Yeah, we were kids. We had the green ones, right? We had them. We picked them up. Once they come into your fucking living space, all bets are off. Oh, yeah. yeah. And my main thing is to get it in the fucking toilet. Yeah. (laughs) Any kind of creature, you go, the first thing is flush them down the toilet. Yeah. (laughs) First, you got to get them in there, though. (laughs) Yeah, you got to trap them. Set up a snare. Uh uh-uh. uh. What do you think is more uh, horrifying, snakes or spiders? I'm not scared of either one. Really? But, but maybe the spider, because if it's one a venomous one, I could. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, the well, venomous the snake, snakes, well, too. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right, well, so, the like, snake, a god, god snake is what I usually yeah. see. I mean, like the spider, though, like, say right now, one could be hanging from the fucking ceiling behind me, and a poisonous one could on my shirt and fucking kill me. So they're scarier because you can't really monitor yeah, them. With a yeah. tennis racket. The snake, mainly, you can see it for the most part, and you club it. Step yeah. on it or something. <laughs> Cut his head off, right? How about the people that fucking grab the spider and put it outside? I don't do that either. Yeah, that's a girl thing, I think. How people. about the people that grab the spider and they keep them as fucking pets and they crawl up their fucking arms and fucking sit there and watch Netflix with them? Like, those people are fucking <laughs> mental. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, <laughs> How about the chicks who go, put it outside, he's just trying to live too, and you try to... My whole comeback is, they don't have brains. Once I kill it, it won't understand that it was alive or dead. They don't fucking can know what's happening. You know what I do? That's, that's what I, I say anyway. Is it true? I, I kill it on the way out. I say, okay, and I kill it on the way out. And yeah, throw yeah. It that's out exactly there. what I do, yeah, too. Yeah. I'll, t- I'll take it outside, I'll let it go on the ground, and then I'll fucking stomp it out and kill it. Yeah. And then I'll say shit like this. I'll go, <laughs> Bill the fucking spider won't be down for breakfast. He's out of the ball game. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, with animals that you're trying to kill and destroy, there is no fucking Star Wars walk away from the death. You make sure. You know, it's not like you fucking shoot a zombie in the fucking right. ribs. You shoot that thing in the head and you make sure it's fucking dead. Oh, yeah. How about sharks? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Do we want to go fishes here? Or well, I mean. Like different animals? I d- Pretty much any fucking fish of any kind is horrifying and just unknown and scary to me. I th- I think the ocean is the scariest place in the world. If I was faced with the options of jumping out of a plane or going scuba diving, I'd jump out of the plane. I'd fucking cannonball. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just can't see, because the water on here really isn't clear. No. Not like Florida or whatever. So. You have no you know, idea. You know, you know what's out there. All of a sudden, you mind your own business. You get fucking hunk of your leg ripped off. Because there's not just one threat. There's fucking jellyfish. There's oh, fucking yeah. stingrays. There's yep. fucking you can fucking brush your leg Barracuda. against a piece of fucking kelp and fucking get some sort of weird disease and yep. die. No. Yeah. Now you best stay away from that shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, going up to your ankles. Except I want to go. Down, I want to go down a chatter and watch the sharks eat all the seals. You hear about that? <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the fucking gladiators. Because all of a sudden they say oh, yeah. you look at the ocean, all of a sudden it turns red. How about the fucking chick surfer who got one arm bit off by the yeah. shark and she went surfing we'll again? Back at How about it. if it bites off the other arm? What are you gonna do? She has to wipe her ass with a fucking plunger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, if I fucking shark bit off. I'm, bit off one of my arms, you could rest assured I will never go into their fucking territory again, I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> right? Come on. And then they say, well, they didn't know it was a person. They thought it was like a fish. Yeah, okay. That makes me feel better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they didn't know. They just see the movement. I mean, they didn't mean it. Okay. No, I mean, like, in my brain, every shark has an agenda. As soon as they see the fucking leg, they are like, oh, yeah, I'm taking this fucking tourist out. Oh, yeah. They just want to eat. Seriously, you've seen the fucking movie Jaws. That's all you need to know. Stay the fuck away from me. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Seriously. What did you guys think about the whole uh, Harambe incident? They made oh, yeah. a tough call. I would have been the. I would have put the thumbs down and said he had to go immediately. Yeah. <laughs> if it was my kid, what am I going to fucking bring in a negotiator for the fucking gorilla to talk to yeah. him? Yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> but like we said, like why was the fucking kid in there in the first place? Well, that's His true. His parents weren't watching him. So maybe the kid deserves to die. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're right. People that fall into fucking animal cages. You deserve yeah. it. There's well, really no need to fall into an animal cage ever. How about the guy that went in? <laughs> didn't a guy go in and try to jump in with a tiger? Yeah. The last yeah. couple months? Yeah. Or a lion? They ripped his arm off yeah. and they killed the thing? Yeah. What a selfish piece of shit. Because oh, you want to do a fucking crazy fucking maneuver. Now you're going to fucking jump in the thing, possibly end up with a severed limb, mm. and now the fucking animals get fucking gassed. Yeah, thrown to a, the glue factory. Whack- well, I was think. saying whack him only if it's my kid or somebody close to me. But anybody <laughs> else, I'd say let the fucking gorilla eat them. You know yeah, what I mean? Because yeah. I don't really care about other people. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> why isn't like the zoo like the movies? They don't have like those high caliber fucking tranquilizer darts that somebody could be in a fucking crow's nest and fucking shoot the thing in the jugular right. vein and yeah. drop it. Or if you're a spectator, the fr- the fence is electrified. If you get too close, you as a guest, you get electrocuted. <laughs> Let's be better. I like that idea. I like that. Ah, It's fucking simple. Big sign saying, don't get too close to the gorilla cage or you'll be fucking electrocuted to death. I love it. I love it. That's a perfect idea. Problem solved. (laughs) Was was Aquaman a true story? Yeah. (laughs) Yes. Submariner. Great great movie. It seems plausible in some ways, doesn't it? Well, put it this way. A fucking dolphin used to be a wolf. Did you know that? A do- for real, a dolphin <laughs> evolved from a wolf. Why can't a human being fucking adapt and evolve into Aquaman? Yeah. Right? Same Why thing. Not? Why not? Maybe people uh, that like have fantasies of that happening are the people that are having sex with the dolphins. How about those guys? <laughs> <laughs> nice and smooth down there. And they they say that it's like that it's such like a it's like a great experience that it's like better than other vaginas and stuff. And like a, people oh, actually comment on that. Oh yeah, there's but all the people that are people really? that fuck dolphins, they're not. It's not like yeah, the it's guy. It's not like really? the guy that sits at the fucking dive bar down the street and bangs like fucking bar trash every night. These guys are like sting like weird like tantric sex fucking weirdos. They develop like emotional bonds with these dolphins. Those dolphins enjoy it uh smart i mean the dolphin's smart yeah <laughs> they're a clever fucking creature they're one of the tops top five yes. intelligence uh, but i mean uh, if you're gonna be trapped at sea world at least you can get jerked off or whatever the fuck they do into these things you know? did orca or someone a whale rip someone's head off down there <laughs> <laughs> did they make a documentary about, about it like yeah that. yeah they turn on someone yeah, to, yeah. Oh, I would love to see that. I would love to be at SeaWorld Google. and have the guy on that little platform with the microphone, and he's like, who's ready to see Bessie the whale? <laughs> yeah, uh, and Bessie jumps out out of, out of the fucking pool and just engulfs him totally. You know how they have, like, a broad to be in the water with them? Yeah. I think one of those got turned yeah, she on. Got, right? Yeah, she yeah. got chewed up. Got no. turned on. <laughs> Death by animal, unless I'm randomly attacked in the street, but any kind of, like, fall into any cages, this won't be happening to me. Oh, yeah. Guaranteed. No. Oh. I will never be, well, I'll never be by a shark. <laughs> Unless it's completely fucking random when I walk down these stairs, a fucking eagle attacks my neck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Other than that, it ain't happening. Be a man. Experience. Let me just say this about animals in closing. <laughs> if you want to have a fucking house pet, have a house pet. But generally, animals are a problem. They're a nuisance. <laughs> If you can eat a fucking cow, I get it. That's cool. All that stuff like that. But generally, animals that exist in the wild, they're there to hurt you. They're sneaky, and they're no fucking good. I say down with animals. <laughs> I don't mind animals, but I really love the ones you can eat. <laughs> Those are the best ones. The more you talk about it, most of these animals are a fucking detriment to human beings. Yeah. They're a problem. <laughs> Unless you can fucking eat them or they kill the mice or whatever, overall you don't really need them. I say we abolish all fucking animals. Yeah. Get rid of them. <laughs> Every fucking one of them. So I hope you enjoyed the- Be a man.